Hey everyone, so this is um, a topic that I've actually seen tested a lot uh, on, on many different tests and it's a, it's a pretty good concept to know. So uh, the way I'll actually tell you guys is uh, the way it was actually tested. I'll give you the question itself. So we have a 65 year old male um, with a medical history of let's say diabetes. Um, you know, comes in with, you know, he's, had, he's short of breath, he's coughing, he's got a fever. They basically say he has pneumonia um, and he's treated with antibiotics, okay? Then they say on day four of hospitalization, he develops uh, DVTs, okay? You note know that his leg is swollen, it's red, it's tender, etc., and they say he has DVTs. But what they say now is that on day five, you notice that he has right upper extremity weakness, right lower extremity weakness. He basically has some sensory deficits, etc. Okay, um, and he has slurred speech, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then they ask you, which of the following heart murmurs would you hear on auscultation? And what you're supposed to do is connect the dots here and say what happened. Okay, so a 65-year-old guy, pneumonia, DVTs, and now he's got what looks like a stroke. How do you get a stroke from a DVT? And on top of that, what type of heart murmur would you hear? Well, let's take a look at what, you know, how, where do DVTs actually originate? They're in the deep veins, right? These DVTs originate here, travel up through the uh, veins to the IVC. In the IVC, go in what? Your right atrium right ventricle, and then they should go to your lungs, shouldn't they? But what happened to this guy? He got a stroke. Well, isn't that from the left ventricle? Right. So what you have to realize is, what did that DVT do? It had to cross somewhere, didn't it? And what happens is, patients who have ASDs, atrial septal defects, the DVT comes up, up, up into the right atrium, and instead of going in the right ventricle, it crosses over into the left atrium. Once it crosses over into the left atrium, it goes in the left ventricle, from the left ventricle, aorta, from the aorta to maybe, you know, your carotid arteries, and from there, causing a stroke. Okay? Now, they didn't ask you what the diagnosis was. They didn't ask you what happened, which is a stroke. They asked you what heart murmur are you listening to. So now you have to think about, okay, well, what type of heart murmur would I hear with an ASD? Fixed S2 split, okay? That was the answer. Um, and they gave, you know, crescendo, decrescendo. They gave, um, you know, mid-systolic click, et cetera, for other options. But that was the answer. And you're supposed to connect the dots. So what you realize is that on step one, it's, it's not about reiterating and regurgitating facts. It's about connecting dots and understanding different concepts and how you can apply them and how they coexist with each other.